Hey there everybody, my name is Jordan from Light My Bricks and today we're down at Melbourne Comic Con which is one of the biggest fan and pop culture events in Melbourne. Let's go check it out. Not only do we have Jedi's fighting and cosplays absolutely everywhere, there's all kinds of fan and pop culture represented here and that's why us down at Light My Bricks love this place. While Comic-Con is all about all of the A-list celebrities and big productions they bring down, for me, it's all about the cosplayers, the people that come out and put hours and hours of effort into their costumes, just like all of these awesome people that I have around me. So we're here with another cosplayer that you may or may not recognize. Last time we saw her dressed up, you were dressed up as General Watsu... I'm not going to pronounce it right, you say it. Goro from Watatsumi Island. What she said. And this time you've come in this awesome Overwatch cosplay. Do you want to talk us through it a little bit? This is Junk Rat. Uh, this is his junk food skin. Uh, this took me about mm, a month to make. The wig took the longest, which is all hand felted and made. Uh, the entire thing is hand painted and my gumball machine works. The level of dedication here is absolutely insane and I just can't wait to see what you pull up next time. We'll wait and see, won't we? <laughs> if you're watching, you need to subscribe. Do it! So we've found two completely different cosplays this time and these are absolutely stunning. Both handmade. Do you want to tell me who you're dressed up as? I'm dressed as Anna from Frozen. And then who have we got over here? I'm Hollow Knight from Hollow Knight. Now you guys both made these yourselves. How long did this one take and do you want to tell us a little bit about the little switch up you did? Uh, so I was planning to come as Poison Ivy but obviously because it is pretty much a blizzard this last week. Uh, four days before the convention, I changed my mind. I'm like, I have to go with something warm. So I was like, Anna. So I started this costume four days ago and finished it 11 p.m. last night. That is totally crazy. I gotta love the respect. You've got everything from like little embroidered details, every like little thing you can think of. This piece is absolutely insane. And then you made yours as well. This is stunning as well. Do you want to talk us a little through it? Trying to make it was mainly just trying to work out all the, the size. Since yep. my character is so small, I had to design it to make sure my head was roughly the size of the body in games. Love your work, guys. You guys look absolutely stunning. Alright guys, so right now I'm down with Jimmy, which is one of the Lego Masters legends that we went on a TV show way back in 2019 together. What are you doing here, Jimmy? Oh my gosh, it's Jordy from Lego Masters Australia Season 1. Ah! It's Jimmy from Season 1. And we haven't done anything since. Not no, true, not no, true. No. Um, Jordy, I was so excited to hear that you'd be here. I am just being a very um, serious man in a suit, asking people questions on that stage over there. I, I think I'm called a master of ceremonies. Have you had many people come up and try and get a photo? I actually have, and I've often like second guess and go, are you sure you know who I am? <laughs> I'm not like uh, anyone famous. And they're like, no, no, you're Jimmy from Lego Masters. And I'm happy to take a photo with them and hopefully not break their cameras. I know that feeling mm. all too well. We're humble, we're humble. Um, I am not affiliated with any brand, but like my bricks, brings Lego to life. It is so cool. You haven't paid me any money to say this. Not at all. Didn't I pay love it. at all. <laughs> so, like Lego is cool, but then once you add like motor functions, pretty cool, brings it to life. But like lights, and then you bring your friends around and they're like, why are you a 40 year old who owns Lego? You're like, shh, shh, shh. turn off the lights, boom. It's 100%. so cool. So all the best to you, man. And great to see you. Good to see you too, man. Thanks for having the interview. Oh.
So right now, I found a couple cosplayers. Do you want to tell me what you guys have dressed up as? So I'm Wonder Woman. Ghost Rider. Okay, so these are obviously some awesome costumes. Did you guys make these yourself? Yes, we did. Uh, this one took me about six months. My second cosplay I ever made. That's so respectable. I love that. Thank that's you. That's dedication to the truest form. And what about yours? One day. <laughs> one day. So we're down at the exhibitors section at the moment and we've finally found the Light My Bricks booth. This thing is absolutely awesome. You guys have done an awesome job. How's it been going today? Crazy busy. Everyone is obsessed the minute they walk past it. The lights, everything, they love it. I gotta say, this thing does look impressive. It's almost like you got a little gallery for the Lego lights here. Yeah. So, Will, what, what would you say has been the most popular or most asked question at the moment? Oh man, without a doubt, it has to be this Hoth build. Like, <laughs> people have been loving it. They've been flooding in, looking at it, talking about it. It's been really cool. Yeah. We really tried today to bring in all the kits that really represented Comic-Cons. So like, we've got something for every fan. We got like DC, Marvel, Harry Potter, Star Wars, just something that everyone can love, you know? Heck, we've even got Optimus Prime here. Nah, hell yeah. <laughs> There's so many awesome gaming and pop culture things around, so let's go see what other gaming things we can find here at Comic Con. Guys, so down at Comic Con, there's droids like R2D2, and there's a second one over there. Are you kidding me? I love this place, it's so awesome. Oh, yeah. I'm literally just button mashing. <laughs> That's how you do it, right? Is it working? I mean, have I got a single hit on you? No. no. <laughs> Are you usually the person that decimates all your friends? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm a ranked player. You're a ranked player. I'm well, so right now we're playing Super Smash Brothers. There's a lot going on and it's actually quite a hard game to play, but there's so many other games that you can play here. It's so much fun. I'm absolutely loving it. Let's go check out what's happening at the Scribble Wall. This blue's nice. Squiggly bits. Squiggly bits. Lots and lots of squiggly bits. All right, well, I just tried to draw Naruto, but I think I'm gonna stick to the Lego because I'm not an artist. Alrighty, so we're here with an absolutely stunning group of cosplayers. He's probably one of the biggest group cosplayers I've seen here. Do you want to tell me a little bit about who you're dressed up as? Yeah, we're Colonial Marines from Aliens, uh, 1983, I think, 86. Um, yeah, we've all spent a lot of money and a lot of detail on these costumes. They're not cheap, probably five, six thousand dollars each. So we all love the movie, 80s movie, 80s pop culture stuff's awesome. So obviously you've got one of the more impressive weapons here. Do you want to tell me a little bit about what went into this whole contraption? Yeah, cool. So this is um, obviously the smart gun from Aliens. Um, it's a cold cast replica, so it comes in obviously numerous parts. Um, cold cast aluminium means you can get that metal finish to it. Yeah. Um, the arm itself that holds it up is a steady cam arm, which was uh, generally back in the day used for um, like video. Yeah, um, totally. They needed some way to be able to carry these things around. And so they come up with the idea of the Steadicam arm. Any costumes like what we do comes down to screen accuracy. Yeah. And how accurate we want to be to what was on screen. So you can get something that's close or then you can go the whole hog like um, Jared has here. And stuff like this is real world parts. So that's an actual mic that they used in recording studios and stuff. Well, they used it in the props for the movie and he's gone and bought that because he loves screen accuracy. So it, you can go berserk. So now we're outside at Comic-Con and there's a whole heap of cosplayers hanging out out here and we found these awesome Halo guys. Do you want to tell me what you dress up as? I'm dressed up as Spartan Rosenda A344 from Halo Reach. And do you want to say who these are as well? Uh, these two are their own custom Spartans. So how long does it take to roughly put together one of these? Not very long, anywhere from two to six months. 
That's a lot of time building, and these are printed, whereas you've gone for a more like handcrafted foam version. You guys have got a lot of time and effort put into your outfits, so it must be nice to bring them out for once to show all your friends. Absolutely. Well, it's safe to say we've had an awesome weekend down here at Comic-Con 2022. And if you've made it this far into the video, you must be a true LMB fan. From everyone here at Comic-Con 2022. Ciao!